Yeah, it was absolutely a very emotional day for this family who was so gracious to give us their time and share the story of their loved one with us and with the world. His widow, Marissa, really just wants everyone to know that her husband was a hero for putting his life on the line to make sure everyone else was safe. And of course, many people are very appreciative of his sacrifice as evidenced by his memorial behind me, which only grows by the day. Behind his badge, Officer Chris Fitzgerald's biggest job was as a father to four. A goofball at heart, his now widow tells us. Everybody would ask me, how many kids do we have? And I would tell him he was the biggest baby of them all. The night he died was an overtime shift he picked up. Before leaving home, he promised his wife Marissa and his kids they'd go to IHOP for chocolate chip waffles the next morning. We'll go tomorrow. We'll go tomorrow. Tomorrow never came. Do you remember what the last words he said to you were out the door? He gave me a kiss and he told me that he loved me. And I said, I love you too. And when he walked out the door, he said he'd be right back. He said, I'll be right back, babe. Now his family has a very clear idea of the justice they want served. If you could speak directly to this teenage shooter or this shooter's family, do you want to say anything to them? You had no right. You are a coward. You are evil. I know what you did to my husband. And all of our family call for a different type of justice. We know how things work. We know the politics at play. Politics are not a part of what happened to Christopher Fitzgerald. And his family hopes with his sacrifice, more measures will be put in place for his fellow police colleagues. More safety for these officers, more help. And now coming up at six, we'll hear more about Officer Fitzgerald's background and also his family's calls to improve safety for fellow Temple police officers. For now, we're live in North Philly. I'm Karen Wong. I'm going to send it back to you, Tracy.